everyone! Today we're going to be doing another beauty chat video. I'm here with Anna. Hello! It's felt like, felt, felt like, <laughs> it's felt like a long time since we did our last one. Was the last one on Beauty Chat Live? It was on Beauty Chat Live in Dublin. Crazy, it feels like Mad. ages ago. So we've picked some questions from Twitter to answer. We've got 10. There's some beauty ones and some random ones. We've got a little kind of giveaway to talk about at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. I haven't thought about the answers to any of these, so we're just going to go with it. Tallulah asks, the three beauty YouTube channels everyone should be subscribed to. Okay, I've had a bit of a pre-think about this. Okay, oh god. Number one, Monica Blunder. Yes. Love her videos, really amazing makeup artist. She does all the celebs, yep. and then she shares her secrets. Yeah. Which is very kind of her. I'm also massively into Jacqueline Hill at the moment. Still don't watch her. You've talked about her before. American and I YouTube. And she, she says like, yes, like <laughs> after everything and I just love it. She's funny and she just, oh, she does beautiful makeup. I feel like I always love a Pixie Boo video. Yeah. It's just, they're, it's a classic. Love Sam and Nick. Okay, so going with the makeup artist thing, Harry makes it up. Yeah. We both had our makeup yeah. done by her recently and she's great. Really good, like wearable makeup tutorials, just really like real London girl. Mm -hmm. Love her. Uh, Claire Marshall, she counts beauty. Yeah, yeah she yeah, does definitely. a lot of beauty stuff. I love Claire's videos. And I'm gonna say Karima. Shameless for Oh yeah, I was, I was gonna. You her introduced her me to well. her. Yeah, she's she, great. She, I really like her videos. I was watching her flawless foundation ones. I was watching this morning. <laughs> it's <as well>. really <laughs> good. <laughs> Melissa says, "What is your favourite perfume for spring summer?" I just sprayed mine on. Yeah, it smells good. Thanks, uh, Stella. They've redone the bottle. Oh yeah, that looks nice. I know, and the bottle's like, ooh, super fancy. Really I think nice. they do an E E D T with like polka dots on. I really want. I don't yeah. need it, but just yeah. for the polka dot, I want that. But I just think this is a great. Everyone loves this fragrance. It's just is it nice. Rose. Yeah, it's like rose. It's like floral, but a light floral. Yeah. Mine would be Jo Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt. Um, mm. I really, really like this. Oh, I've used loads. Actually. Yeah. I haven't worn it in ages as well. Very fresh. Mm. Smells like seaside. Yeah, I like that one. It does mm. smell like the seaside. Yeah. It smells like you. Like oh, you wear really? that a lot. Yeah. I haven't worn it in ages. I need to wear it again. I like that. one now. <laughs> Smells good. Beatrice says, what is your favourite brush brand? I feel like we're both going to say the same for this. Are we? Yeah. One, two, no. three. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> no! 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 <laughs> I just say it all up my chest. <laughs> okay, I'll go oh, first. Okay. Mine's Zoeva, or Zoeva, however you say it. Um, because I'm really fussy about eye brushes, and I haven't really found a brand that does great eye brushes and they do the best eye brushes. I love the fluffy ones, I love the little ones from under the eye, I like the flat ones, um, and they're really affordable. I love how they've all got on like the same kind of I know. <laughs> shade on the Like top. I really probably don't need that many, I just go over there's a clean one, I'm like, oh, and I never clean I them. forgot about them. They do do really good brushes and I feel like Real Techniques as well are good kind yeah. of drugstore ones. Yeah. But I love the Bobbi Brown yeah, ones. Yeah. I, I don't know why I didn't even pick that. I need more. Yeah. I feel like I could have the whole Bobbi Brown range just as my brush collection and be really happy with that. I'd like to get another sheer powder one. Because I use it for blush there, but it's also good for powder. You could use it for bronzer. I used it for blush the other day and really loved it. Yeah. I normally use that one for powder. The eye blender is beautiful. This is like my new MAC 217 in the way that yeah. I feel like the 217 you need, but this one just takes it to the next level. And then the full coverage face brush is so great good. for just everyday foundation. And, I and also it. the eye blender one's good for powder under the eye too. Ooh, good mm -hmm. tip. Okay, McCallie says, do you have a specific playlist album you listen to while getting ready? I picked this one. I, I thought it was very <laughs> frank. I why you picked this one. Go on. <laughs> Explain. <laughs> so Anna has made the most insane playlist with my help a little bit, but yeah, it was you mainly help. you. There were some suggestions. <laughs> it's called Anna and Lily's Throwback <laughs> Playlist, and we've spoken about it a lot because it's hilarious. Like late nineties, <laughs> early two thousands music. I've been showing it to all my friends, and they it's literally all love I it. listen to. <laughs> I listen to it in the car on the way here. I've, I've, I've added some new ones. Have you? Oh. I was in the car waiting for my mum the other day, and I added um, Graduation by Vitamin C. You know, I've noticed a few that I don't really know. And what's the other one I added? Girlfriend and sync. Oh yeah, I feel like that was that was missing. Yeah, um, but there are some new ones on it. It's got like four thousand followers. <laughs> so funny. I I could be a DJ. <laughs> you could but only like with nineties, early two thousand music. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> okay, Lucy said, "What are your best tips for traveling with makeup brushes? Because mine always gets squished." I have a tip. I don't have the the item to show because I don't actually own it. Oh, yeah. But they're one of those ones that are like a little pot with like a top that you can zip over, and it's it's hard. Yeah. <laughs> 
That was definitely another way to uh, demonstrate that. Say the word hard. I said the word hard. Oh my god. Take that out. No Take way. No out. way. But I really want one. Where do you get them from? Um, like Sigma. Sigma. But yeah. what is that brand? In the UK, it's, no one really knows about Sigma. I think they're on Love Makeup. Oh, there you but go. I'm not sure if they actually sell that. <laughs> or oh, yeah. just like a long makeup bag. Yeah. Like this one I use. You look lovely today. Yeah. From Alphabet Bags. It's just long and I can fit all my big brushes in Tie it. them all together with a hairband and they won't fly around. That's a good idea. I just thought of that one on the spot. <laughs> my tip would be to get one of these though. This one is from Aspen of London, so it's quite pricey. Fancy. White Company do one as well. I think they've got it in their spring summer collection. It's just like a pencil. I suppose you could use a pencil case. As well. Okay. Oh, it's like a pencil You're just case. like coming up with all these I tips. I put top. I put a bit of paper in there so it doesn't get grubby. But it's just the perfect shape, and the brushes just sit in there, and they have a little home while they're travelling. That's a really good idea. Jazzy says, "What are your current favourite TV shows?" Okay, so I'm mourning the loss of Parks and Recreation mm. because I watched all seven se seven seasons in about two months, and. I can't even talk about it. I'm still really <laughs> upset about it. I've even got, I've even got like memorabilia T-shirt. Oh, wow. I know that's how much I'm obsessed. <laughs> but I, I've, um, we've cancelled our Netflix subscription because we've got Amazon Prime Instant Video. But we're watching Thirty Rock. Oh yeah, I've heard about that. Really good. It's with Tina Fey, who's like Amy Poehler's Bessie. Oh. Okay. So I feel like I'm kind of getting a bit of both of them. And it's so funny. Mark was like really laughing at it last night, like properly chucking it. Chucking? <laughs> Chuckling. <laughs> it makes him chuckle. It's so funny. So yeah, 30 Rock is currently what we're doing. What are you on? Vampire Diaries, still. Oh, yeah, still going. That. Oh, Damon. He's still my beating heart. Is that a saying? <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm really happy. I was thinking, what is that saying? I'm just going to go for it. Yeah, got you went it. for it. I got it. Um, I love him. Um, Revenge. These are all really like crappy TV shows. Me and my, my mum watch Revenge and Grey's Anatomy together. Um, and that's about it. I just feel like I haven't got any more time in my life for TV shows, but... Yeah, it, it's my like, I like to fall asleep while watching yeah. it. Like, I just want to put something on and fall asleep. Yeah, exactly. Okay, Claudia said, What's the best reliable long-wearing concealer for a 12-hour working day much needed? Okay, I've got a suggestion. What's yours? I'm intrigued to see what they're... You go first. Okay. I should be very secretive about this. <laughs> I am as well. I've I don't know why. I've got them all in a little bag. So I have two suggestions. One for under eye. Like, I feel like this is a really good under eye concealer. The Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In mm. Place. I use it in extra light. Ooh, that is messy. <laughs> um, it's a really good, it's kind of creamy, but it's very long wearing. It goes really lovely under the eye. If it's for blemishes, the Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage Concealer ain't going anywhere. Yeah, I knew you were going to pick that, that's why I didn't, but that is uh, a really good one. For, not for under eye, no. but for blemishes. It's wicked. Yeah, I picked Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer. Oh, yeah. It is quite creamy. It's not as like dry as the Laura Mercier one. Um, so maybe not if you have oily skin, but it's proper full cover and it lasts all day on me. I love this little tube. Okay, Sandra asked, and I just picked the song because I wanted to know your answer. <laughs> Favourite dog breed? Anything. Have you ever had a dog? No. So oh. I'm a bit... I'm not sure so what just the going name by looks. is. Yeah, I'm just going by looks with this one. <laughs> just anything is quite cute and fluffy. And no, that's and not an answer. But me and Mark always say that if we get a dog, we would get a sausage dog and we would call it Jarvis. I think they're quite funny. Can you just imagine me and Mark <laughs> like, walking gonna... around with like a little sausage dog? I think you're going to name like a type of sausage. You're like, you get a sausage <laughs> dog and we're going to call it... That's Cumberland. <laughs> Jarvis. No, Jarvis. After Jarvis, Cocker. Cocker. Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> Random. Are you going to say your dog? Well, like, I probably should. Dixie yeah. is a Tibetan terrier. Really like her. <laughs> really to say. <laughs> but she's like a good size. She's like medium. She's got soft hair. She doesn't shed or make anyone allergic. Mm. Um, she's got a very nice nature. She's good, good with kids. kids. Yeah. Um, but she is a scavenger. We once saw her. We once took her to go out for a walk and we were like, where's Dixie gone? And she was just running towards us with a whole baguette <laughs> in her mouth. Her ears were flapping like... So yeah, she's definitely a scavenger. <laughs> Um, Rich loves huskies, but kind of a husky they're in huge. London. Yeah, they're big. Lauren asked, I'm going to New York next month. What essential products should I pick up from Sephora? I feel like we're both gonna say, yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah, maybe all exactly the same. Yeah? Yeah. Sephora lip cream? Love Sephora oh, lip cream. It's on my lips. It's in my other bag. This colour? Uh, yeah, zero one. Yeah? Yeah, like that one. Kat Von D liquid lipsticks. I like these because they're just a bit more range. I do yes. I do really like the Sephora ones, but the colour, you, you get a few more colours with this. They're a little bit more drying, but a little bit more long-lasting. Mm. 
I haven't got this one. Tarte uh, Gifted Mascara. You can kind of get Tarte in the UK, but it's easier to get it in America, and it's a good, good mascara. And I would say this, the mm. Perfect Hair Day 5-in-1 Styling Treatment. I still don't think you can get this here. No, you can't. You can't. It's great, and basically the only thing I really use in my hair these days. Mm. Did I tell you I've started using the shampoo and conditioner from them? Yeah, you said it was really good. Yeah, I really like it. Yeah. It's gonna be my faves. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is a final question from Brianne. I've heard washing your hair less makes your hair healthier. How often do you ladies wash your hair? Have a great week. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Hope you have a good week too. <laughs> I've had this too, but for me, I've got I've got greasy old hair. It's How often so do you greasy. Wash it? I tend to do it every other day, although wow. this morning is Monday and I haven't washed my hair since Friday. So that was rebel. It doesn't matter. No, oh no, I did wash it in the end, oh, okay. but it was a bit greasy. Like I can normally get three days if I get the old dry shampoo out. See, my hair's quite dry, so I like a bit of grease. Second day, third day hair's the best for me. So I wash my hair. I can't really remember, but I think it's probably every four or five days. You're so lucky. I like to wait till it really needs washing because <laughs> I hate washing my hair. It's literally my least favorite it. thing in the world to do. So I always wait as long as I can. But dry shampoo is not really working for me these days. I keep using it, and then mm. it looks like I've got dandruff. Not like oh. white patches, but like little white bits everywhere. Oh, Weird. That's not good. So those are all the questions, and like we said, we have a little giveaway. Yes. And the giveaway is eight goodie bags yeah. from our Beauty Chat Live events that we did with Space NK. These are good goodie bags. Yeah, amazing. Really good goodie bags. They're amazing, if we say so. Yes, yeah, so they're the ones that people got when they bought some stuff in the evening, and I think everyone was kind of blown away with how good they were. So yeah. we are going to be giving eight away on Twitter. We're not quite sure how yet. <laughs> We're trying to figure it We're out. We're trying to figure it out, but we would have figured it out by the time this video goes up. So follow us both on Twitter. Anna is at Viviana Makeup. I'm at Lily Pebbles. And when this video goes up, we will be making some sort of announcement tweet how you can yes. win a goodie bag, get involved. There's an Oscar mask in there. There's a Tangle teaser. It's great. A whole Tangle teaser, <laughs> oh. not a half. <laughs> That's like private jokes. Anyway. I came to be chat joke. live. <laughs> So thank you guys so much for watching this month's Beauty Chat. Next month will be on Anna's channel, so go over and subscribe to her. And we'll see you soon. Why did I do that? <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Why did I do that? I thought maybe you'd put like a little ding, ding. <laughs>